Welcome to Asteroids. The weather in Singapore has been really hot, hot in October of 2023. The temperature is around 34 degrees Celsius, which is more than 90 Fahrenheit. And that is not pleasant to say the least. In today's video, I wanted to make an air conditioner or try to make an air conditioner, but without a compressor. And that is with a semiconductor device called Peltier or thermoelectric. Does it even make sense? Hmm. Without compressor, you can't move the hot air. You can't move the heat out. But it seems possible as well. So let's try to make it in today's video. This parcel is 17 and a half pounds, almost 8 kilograms, so heavy. <laughs> <laughs> packed in tons of styrofoam, that's awesome. Okay, where the heck is that thing? Yo! <laughs> Look at this! Yo! <laughs> what? Well, 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 today is a lucky day because I'm going to show you this device which turns thermoelectric cooling into a reality. This is a 480 watts, 48 volt power supply. So, originally it comes with just two wires but I modified and I just basically get the fan wires to separate connections like this instead of all running through the same bus. The wires being connected, we are going to close up this so we don't accidentally touch the connections. So right now we are having a temperature of around 29.5 degrees Celsius and in 3, 2, 1. The volts. A few moments later. Okay, so after seven minutes, it reached a temperature of 12 degrees and it gets to a minimum of around 11 ish degrees. Power supply kind of warm, but still okay. Good. With the consideration of both the dimensions of this huge thermoelectric cooler as well as this 480 watt power supply, after some design planning later, this is a 900 by 1200 foam board and we need two of this but luckily i went ahead and bought that too so let me show it to you this is freaking huge so i've laid the foam board on the ground and we are going to cut out this little rectangles from this thing. So there we go. First part done. We'll grab ourselves the 700 by 350 millimeters foam board. And at the height of 80 millimeters, we are going to cut out a rectangle, space 90 millimeters from the side. And the rectangle would have to have a length of 314 by 149. I have a 3D printed part that I call an air diverger. Oh, that may not make sense, but anyway, so this, instead of moving it up, it's gonna divert the air by 90 degrees so that it comes out from one side. We are going to lift up our Peltier and situate it on the PTG 3D printer part. As you can see, it fits very nicely. You just have to push it in. And now this will provide a good insulation from the hot side. But you can see that the 700 millimeters is too high for the thermoelectric cooler. This is only 400 millimeters and the power supply wouldn't be that tall. So we are going to cut short the part. So in this case, at the height of just 120 millimeters, we are going to draw a line and we are going to cut this part away. So that's what I'm talking about. I also designed this part right here. This is for the top part, which is much thinner because it doesn't have to support the weight. And this is also used to divert the air out. During the build, I've accidentally lost some of the video. So to compensate for it, I have put out the schematic and design for you. Okay, so here's the thing. The power supply is actually sinking the foam downward. So as you can see here, we are just going to mark out 
the other side of this. So this is the AC adapter plug right here that I got on our switch. There we go, work like a charm. This one is for ventilation. I can kill two birds with one stone by cutting an extra hole. We have to use this foam board to stand this foam board up so that it won't curve down. Pegamento para body steering or expandido. So I just do it like this. Do the balsa wood. The base wood definitely takes home the trophy being able to handle the bending test. Be good for an AC adapter mounting hole because it can sustain a lot of push forces. This is the earth wire, the neutral wire, and the life wire. So the life wire, we are going to connect it to the switch and just push it in. Then push the heat shrink into it. This is the earth wire, which is connected to the last. And now we're going to connect the neutral wire, just like this. Alright, so now I'm getting this 540 by 200 millimeters cardboard piece. Firstly, we need to put our main wires in, the Peltier wires, the fan wires. Now you might ask how to control this fan because I don't want it to operate at 48 volts all the time. So one solution is to use pulse width modulation, but does it work? But as you can see, it ramps up to full speed almost immediately. Hear a sound? When I decrease it, it immediately drops down to zero. So obviously, this computer fan right here doesn't like. Alright everyone, this is the circuit that I've built on the breadboard just with a potentiometer, a 10 kilo ohm resistor and a MOSFET. So what I'm doing right here is to basically control the gate voltage of the MOSFET. You can see that the gate voltage will start to rise, but not by a lot. The voltage divider of the circuit creates a low voltage potential across the gate source of the MOSFET, thereby allowing the MOSFET to stay in its ohmic region to limit the current. Control the voltage of the fan fluidly. Some people might say, hey, that's dangerous. The MOSFET will get very hot. It's not used for these purposes. The MOSFET draws only 100 milliamps. Now, let's put up the circuit on the prototype. Okay, so the wiring has been tidied up. Flipping the back side of the air conditioner, we can see... Wait, don't look at this. It's confusing me out. We are going to focus on the main powerhouse of our system, which is this 600 watt bulk converter. 50 volts, 12 amps rated. It's used to power the pit here and the intake fan. Okay, I think this would be the perfect place. So we'll set to unplug the connectors. Okay. We are going to focus on these two outputs right here. We have these two wires right here. This is the Peltier wires, which is this thick wire right here. And this is the thin wire, which is for the hot side fan. And we are going to connect it to the out minus. Positive wire is for the hot side fan. So we are going to connect this to a spare wire right here. This is a thicker wire, this is for the Peltier wires. And now we are going to get input wire positive negative input and close it up extract the fan right here this has the earth wire here this is a four inch duct ventilator fan and it's made for ac the top fan and the wires for the bottom fan has been connected okay so the cream has been added and this would facilitate the tightening of screws. And now let's try to turn on the fan by pressing this extractor fan. There you go, it works. Draws around 60 watts, which is around 30 watt per fan. 
and the power factor of 0 0.85 which is actually a portable air conditioner because I made the design such that there are two dark ventilator fans to vent out the heat to facilitate in the venting of the heat I have bought these two aluminium ducting slightly short of 4 inch you need this cardboard right here this cardboard is to basically act like a you know two 3.8 inch to fit the ducting holes through so here's my aluminium foil which has turned oxidized because I haven't used for quite a long time I'm gonna apply lots of glue aluminium take over the surface this is to prevent excessive heat build up due to infrared radiation the aluminium is shiny so it reflects heat away window grills has not been opened yet so let's do it now this is very easy to put in i'm just gonna just put it like this look at that man this is so cool this is what it will look like so let's close it up it may look complicated but it's actually very simple these two are your power supply output 48 volts this one goes to the cold fan right here and these two thick wires goes to the bar converter which powers the hot fan and the Peltier and it's very efficient, it's 90% efficient so it would generate very little heat loss 0 kilowatt hour we are going to connect the heat pipes vent the heat out the hot air would be running out through these two heat pipes right here Let's run half an hour at full power which is at 48 volts the thermometer measuring the cold side temperature this is the ambient temperature and this is the outdoor temperature which is around 32 33 ish degrees and of course the aircon is off ipad recording the time lapse and every other things is off all we need to do is to just hit these three switches and we are ready to go and of course this extractor fan switch in three two one Okay, so Whoa Oh yeah, the temperature has dropped Wow, 28.3 And oh Outdoor temperature remained around the same so it does kind of work but not really good so now we are gonna set the voltage to 38 volts yeah definitely i can feel cold air coming out the aircon is still not even turned on yet the temperature did not go down anymore but instead stayed around the same at 31.3 degrees celsius and the outdoor temperature has stayed almost around the same as well around 32, 33 ish alright so I set the fan speed to only 50% for the cold side of the Peltier and things changed significantly as you can see the temperature now has plummeted down to 26 degrees from 29 degrees it's very cold if you put your cheeks very close it's very comfortable it's like that is really cold or even at the top like this right so today has been the day that i've been looking forward to in more than three months i finally completed my peltier thermoelectric air conditioner project tested it truck run it and see how did it actually perform in a real world condition in a very hot day around 32 degrees celsius also managers to actually show temperature decline over the course of half an hour which is really impressive to be honest even though the temperature decline is not much it comes to show that this type of thermoelectric air conditioner does really have a stand in the air conditioner industry in today's world so this is why they are still used in cabinet air conditioner like for example this company named Sanda they manufacture thermoelectric Peltier air conditioners for electronic cabinets that have to stay cold and this is because Peltiers are excellent in cooling a small area to very low temperatures but not a large area 
being able to see such a huge project in my life, to be able to see it through its completion, is really something that is really important. Ability to meet the project deadline, then to actually see it 100% completely successful, it's really good, it goes down the room to a lot of extent. No, that's not the point. The point is to show that this type of thermoelectric air conditioners are very safe. This is due to the lack of refrigerant that cause high pressure. You won't find that in this type of Pelgate air conditioner. They are free of refrigerants, meaning they just run purely on electricity thanks to the effect of semiconductors Peltier effect. And the second thing is that these type of Peltier air conditioners can last very long, up to 100,000 hours. But the reason why we still don't see these type of Peltier air coolers in our homes is due to many disadvantages which outweigh the advantages. Those are, firstly, the Peltier is very inefficient. The second disadvantage is because of air cooling you have seen in the previous several minutes of the video that is really noisy, a lot of background noise and this is due to the fan of the hot side of the Peltier having to remove large amounts of heat. The third disadvantage is that its cooling capacity is lower than its rated power meaning that your EER or your energy efficiency ratio is less not really the target of today's consumer market. It use our electricity mostly on all the fossil fuels which will eventually deplete one day. And so in order to be sustainable, we have to be very mindful of how much power that we draw to keep ourselves cooling. For this, in this case, it's not very efficient and you may need a lot of them to cool down, which means that the efficiency can get really low. But overall, I'm really happy about this project because this type of project is really something that I can only do when I have a lot of free time which is in the polytechnic semester breaks. Air conditioner projects made by YouTubers, they are really informative like for example the Sorin video which explains why the Peltier cannot get to low temperatures. YouTubers out there that design and build these air conditioners using two Peltier modules they are not possible. And so with that being said, till next time, peace 